what's going on people it is your old pal chh here today so uh we've been looking at a lot of physical media and i want to keep that train rolling um this is a company that i don't recall hearing anything big announced from them as a matter of fact there are certain titles that they've put out uh that have gotten 4ks from different companies like uh city of the living dead so i don't know what's going on with this company but they have put out a lot of good titles and all this is still available. I don't think it's stuff that they um, have gone out of print. So without further ado, we're talking about Blue Underground today. Now, they've been around for a long time, Blue Underground. They have put out. They were putting out, like, you know, upscale DVDs. I say upscale. They were putting out, like, nice restorations of stuff on DVD back in the way, the way Anchor Bay was. And one of the big titles they had on DVD back in the day was The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue which then got picked up by Synapse, I believe, for Blu-ray and stuff like that. But we're going to look at the best of uh, Blue Underground's uh, home media. And if I have a Blu-ray version of something that's like a 4K scan, I'll tell you if it has a 4K release itself. So without further ado, let's start, guys. This is one that has no 4K. It's just a Blu-ray. It's a movie called The Prowler. This is a really cool slasher film directed by Joe Zito. Effects by Tom Slovini, as my brother calls it. He adds an S in there. We were going to te <laughs> we were going to Texas Frightmare, and my brother goes, "Hey, is Tom Slavini gonna be there?" I said, "Who?" He goes, "Tom Slavini," and uh, I was like, "You mean Savini?" And he also Kane he called Kane Hot or Kane Hoddle. Like my brother likes horror movies. Like he'll he'll come over and we'll watch uh, Part Seven, The New Blood, or we'll watch like Creep Show, but he's not good with names, so he called him Tom Slavini. So anyway, yeah, that's that's the only release that this has is uh, the Prowler. That's a good Blu-ray. It's a good Blu-ray. Uh, this was also called Rosemary's Killer in other markets. Next up, guys, this believe it or not. So Joe Zito, not Joe Zito, um, the guy who owns Blue Underground. Uh, he directed Maniac. His name's slipping me. So let me go ahead and look at that. Uh, William Lust, Bill Lustig. He said that this is a movie called Final Countdown. This is a 4K release of this. This is a really cool movie about like this warship that goes through a time portal. Uh, it's a really cool movie. Um, Martin Sheen's in it too, who's my favorite Sheen. Uh, but yeah, this he said on Charles Band's podcast, this was his biggest selling movie he ever did, The Final Countdown. Uh, it's a really great movie. Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, and James Farentino. Great cast, beautiful 4K, really good movie. Really good movie, The Final Countdown, so I love that. Uh, next up, we've got probably one of my favorite titles, if not my favorite title this company ever did. I'm talking about Dead and Buried. Is it Buried or Buried? I'm going to say Buried. Dead and Buried. But anyway, look. This movie is great. Dead and, bu Dead and Buried. Look at that artwork. She's putting the needle in his eye. This is a great movie. Uh, this was written by Dan O'Bannon, if memory serves. Which, yes, yes. If you, if you know me, being Return of the Living Dead is my favorite movie. Uh, Dan O'Bannon is my guy because he wrote and directed that. Uh, but this movie is incredible and the artwork is insane too. They had different versions of this available, uh, slip art, slip cover wise. This may be, this still may be available. I keep getting out of focus. This still may be available. This version. Uh, I think this was the one that would like stay in production, and some of the other ones were a little bit limited. But this is a great movie, Dead and Buried. Love it to death. It's a really, really, really good movie. Um, next up, we're talking about one of the greatest slasher films of all time, Maniac. Now, this is the three-disc 4K restoration Blu-ray release, but there is a 4K restoration. Um, am I going to upgrade some of these? Probably so. Um, I just, these releases were so nice, I felt like it was disrespectful to upgrade over them. Uh, that's not to say that the 4Ks aren't incredible, but these are really nice lenticular slip versions um, they've got all kinds of extras, second disc extras. Uh, they look incredible. And, um, like, I guess for me, like, this is good enough. Sometimes I don't want to upgrade everything. Like, a release like this, you're going to get an incredible picture. You're going to get incredible audio. Um, but if you don't have this, these may be out of print. I'm not sure. The three disc limited versions, uh, they may, once the 4K versions came out, they may be out of print. But, um... I re like I said, I really like these releases, so like I never upscaled more some of these, uh, but they were just done so well that I couldn't help myself. I was just like, man, these are incredible. Um, 
You got all three discs in there. Look at that artwork, the disc art. So, yeah, I love, uh, I loved the the era of the three disc 4K restoration Blu-rays from Blue Underground was peak Blue Underground. So we're talking 20, 2018, 2019, uh, just peak Blue Underground. So I love these releases. I would actually probably say if you can get those still, I would go for them. But their 4K stuff is amazing. I'm going to cover this broad up even though she's kind of covered up. I just can't risk it. The Toolbox Murders is a great exploitation. It even says it, the original exploitation classic. This is a cruel slasher film. Love it to death. Not for the weak at heart, but uh, a classic and a gorgeous 4K this is a 4K, and it's kind of like an Arrow-style 4K. You can see it's got, like, the chunky box art, uh, but let me cover her up again. Like I said, she's covered up, but I can't risk it. So, love this movie, but like I said, be, be ready for a, for a brute. A brute exploitation classic. Uh, really cool. I don't know if this had a Blu-ray from Blue Underground. I just think it might have. It might have, but... The 4K is what I ended up getting for the first time. It wasn't something that I'd seen very, very long ago. Uh, admittedly so. So, um, there's that. Now, this broad, she's not revealing anything, but she's got some nice cheeks. But I'm talking about the New York Ripper. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite um, Lucio Fulci films. This is one of my favorite slasher films. It takes the slasher genre and flips it on its head because this movie is like... I feel like Fulci was saying, okay... The slasher thing's big right now. You want me to do a slasher film? You guys aren't going to like what I'm going to do because I'm going to turn this inside out. I'm going to make this as uncomfortable for the viewer as possible because if this is what is going on, this is what's popular, I'm going to make it disgusting. <laughs> uh, great, creepy movie, uh, but it's really disturbing. So disturbing, I really can't discuss the stuff that goes on in this film, uh, which makes me sound like a sick fan. Uh, it's actually not a comfortable watch. It's not something I watch very, very often, maybe once every year and a half. But is that such a bad thing? Because sometimes I think the purpose of horror films are to make you really feel something, really feel something. And this movie will make you feel something. It'll make you feel some type of way. So the Ripper, God damn, it's brutal. It's brutal. Next up, this is one of my all-time favorite releases of all time. Uh, of of all times e as well, because we all know that there's multi dimensions out there. I'm talking about the three disc 4K restoration Blu-ray release of Zombie. Now they had three artworks of this. They had the bridge. They had the ice pick, or the thing that goes into the eye, and then they had the the classic Zombie one, which clearly is the one I went for. Again, this has a 4K restoration from Blue Underground. Um, I'm kind of waiting for Arrow to do it. I'm waiting for Arrow to do it because I think if Arrow does, because Arrow has a history of releasing uh, Zombie, Zombie 2, Zombie Flesh Eaters, whatever you want to call it, on Blu-ray and for over there. If they do a version of this, then we're, we're cooking because I just saw that they're doing City of a Living Dead, which I still kind of want to get that because even though I've got the Cauldron ones, I'm a, I'm a sucker for those Arrow video ones, and I love those movies. Those are movies... City of the Living Dead and Zombie are, are kind of like movies that, like, I just enjoy buying. I enjoy cat cataloging the releases of, the, of these movies. I have a couple zombie releases, like old DVD releases and stuff like that. But this is the three-disc Blu-ray 4K restoration. Again, this has a 4K, so if you're interested in this. And if you haven't seen this, this, uh, to me, is blasphemous. It pisses people off. I don't mean to. I prefer Zombie over Dawn of the Dead. Even though Romero is my guy. I love Romero to death, my favorite director. Fulci made the most shocking zombie film you'll ever see. Um, and I, I compare the two not because I just want to be controversial, but because there's connectivity. They're, they're around the same time, late 70s, and this was considered the sequel to the film overseas because overseas Dawn of the Dead was released as Zombie and so this movie overseas was released as Zombie 2 uh, in the States they were like what are we going to call it in America because it's not called Zombie in America it's called Dawn of the Dead so then they were like let's call it Zombie in America so there's no connectivity but overseas there kind of is the pseudo connectivity because of the title confusion uh, but my point is, I love this movie to death. It has one of the most shocking scenes in, in a horror movie history where a zombie legitimately punches a shark, and it's all real. It's all real. They got a, they got a scuba guy 
uh, like some kind of professional d diver guy to go underwater and punch a shark. Speaking of Fulci, let's talk about uh, House by the Cemetery. Now, I did get a 4K version of this from Arrow Video because it's a gorgeous release. But the artwork on this is perfect. There's Freudstein right there. Dr. Freudstein. If you haven't seen this, a shame on you because this is one of the creepiest movies. Uh, House by the Cemetery, Lucio Fulci. Uh, it's it's a really it's a really creepy movie. Um, there's a scene where you find out that there is literal like it's grave sites under the floorboard in her house. I want you to imagine that was you finding that in your house. Um, the, the 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 look of Freudstein too is something of a nightmare. There's some intense, beautiful, horrifying gore sequences in here. The music's really creepy. There's a silly dub for the kid, uh, but that is kind of typical for Italian movies. You get over that. The more you watch it, you get over it. You just get over that kind of stuff. Um, Bloody Disgusting says, truly frightening. So there you go. Uh, but yes, House by the Cemetery. This House by the Cemetery has multiple releases. You can get the 4K from Arrow Video. It's 4K, so it's region-free. 4K as a format is region-free. You can get the 4K from Blue Underground if you want to. Or if you really like this three-disc Blu-ray set, because I, I love these, you know, that's still available too. Moving on, another uh, another um, Fulci film. This was uh, Manhattan Baby. Kind of a silly name. I recall liking this movie pretty pretty good, Manhattan Baby. I think this was 89. No, 82, excuse me. This came out in 2016. Three-disc limited edition. This is an older one, so I, I didn't get a slip with this one. Um, not something I would put at the top of the list for you to own. Uh, but actually, Manhattan Baby is a pretty damn good movie. So, I, to be completely honest, I'd have to rewatch this again. I, I watched it in 2019 when I got it, and I remember liking it pretty well. Uh, a young girl goes on vacation in Egypt, is given a mysterious charm, causing her archaeologist's father to be struck blind inside an unexplored pyramid tomb. But when the family returns home to Manhattan, a plague of supernatural evil and sudden violence follows. Can this ancient curse be stopped before it's unleashed on the streets of New York City? I do remember liking the New York vibe of this movie. This and like, um, you know, uh, what were we talking about earlier? The Ripper. I love the New York vibe that uh, Fulci has in this film. So I'd have to rewatch that again. I'd have to rewatch that again, to, just to be honest with you. Now, this was one of the more recent 4Ks that Blue Underground put out. Uh, I'm talking, and this was, I believe, directed by, yeah, this is directed by the owner of Blue Underground, William Lustig, a.k.a. Bill Lustig, one of the funnest 90s horror films, Uncle Sam. Now, what I like about this was that uh, Bill kind of like was like, hey, I remember how fun the VHS artwork was for Uncle Sam. You know, people used to love taking it, and it. you remember what I'm talking about? It was, it was basically like that, and then it turned into like the monster-looking guy. Uh, so I like that he brought that back for the 4K. And look at that. It even says, watch this. It says, I want you, watch this, dead. I want you dead. Can't you just do that for hours? Gorgeous 4K. This is a great double feature with, like, Jack Frost because this is, like, right around the time of Scream. And so, like, there was still that lasting effect of, like, the straight-to-video style horror films, which I prefer over the Scream type of horror movies. And uh, just so fun. Absolutely hysterical, fun 90s horror films. Uh, written by Larry Cohen as well. You can't go wrong. Larry Cohen written. Bill, Bill Lustig directed. Uncle Sam 4K. Get that, guys. That's still available. I want to talk about... Um, let, me, let me get these two together. So, Because this is an interesting situation. Alright. Here we go. My apologies. Now, I saved the best for last because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the absolute best movie in my collection of Blue Underground. I want to talk about Two Evil Eyes. This was the three-disc Blu-ray set. Now, this is a great horror anthology. Uh, it's, it's technically a horror anthology. It was supposed to be three stories. It went down to two stories. So they're both about 45 minutes each, but they're really good. Uh, Tom Atkins is in here. Uh, Adrian Barbeau is in here. Uh, you've got Harvey Keitel, I believe. I believe Harvey Keitel was in here. Yes, he is. He is. Harvey Keitel. Uh, this was supposed to be the time where uh, Lucio and Dario were going to work together for the first time because they had a rivalry. All those Italian guys hated each other. They fought. They fought. 
Uh, but George Romero got into the mix, and Lucio was supposed to be in here as well, but it didn't end up happening, but they still wouldn't have a two evil eyes. This is the three discs version, and here is the 4K version, which I did not get a slip for because I bought it too late. Why did I pick up two evil eyes on 4K, you're asking? Because I got it really cheap. It was on a flash sale on Amazon. I just happened to see it for like $13. I'll never forget it. It didn't last but like half a day. Because I remember telling people about it, and they went back. I was like, dude, it's back up to $27. I was like, I don't know. Funnily enough, somebody showed me, like, a, a couple people were like, Christian, did you see Cujo's on sale on Amazon for, like, 13 bucks, 12 bucks, the 4K? I went to go get it. They fixed it. They fixed it. But I got this really cheap. Uh, they're both great. They're both great looking. Uh, of course, you're going to get the, uh, the HDR with this. Um, but gr a great movie. And as much as I love George Romero... Argento got the upper hand in this. I think his movie was just a little bit better. But incredible movie, incredible soundtrack. Don't sleep on Two Evil Eyes. Still much, very much an underground type of movie. No pun intended, Blue Underground. But one of the better titles from this catalog. Uh, you're, if you're a fan of Romero, you're going to love this. If you're a fan of Argento, you're really, really going to love this. Uh, the cast is impeccable in, in both of these. They're, they're really good. So, uh, yeah, I love this. Uh, absolutely love this. Obviously, if you get the three-disc version, you get the soundtrack, which I typically would never care about. Obviously, you can see this is a two-disc Blu-ray and the 4K with the special features. But on the three-disc, you did get the soundtrack. Typically, I would say, ugh, soundtrack. I'm not even going to ever put that in my CD. But the truth is, the truth is, I actually, uh, uh, where's it at? Here it is right here. I actually really like the soundtrack. The, the song that plays on the disc menu, when you put it in, you're going to be like, oh my god, that's incredible. So keep that in mind. I want to talk about Maniac Cop 2 and 3. Now, I just did a video on this, guys. If you remember, I just did a video the other day called Horror Sequels That Come Out on Different different Labels. Part 1 came out on Synapse. So, oh, Bill Lustig got uh, 2 and 3. Did he direct? No, Alan Smithy directed 3. So who directed 3? Because, you know, Alan Smithy, I don't remember this. They talk about it in the special features, I'm sure. Alan Smithy, that's a pseudonym director's name. That's when the director doesn't want to have his name on it. Who directed three? Son of a... I can't remember. Jacques Hadkin, director of photography. He did uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 1 and 2. Uh, he might have did three as well. I can't remember how many he did. I'm sorry. My point is, though, guys, these are gorgeous, gorgeous 4Ks. Uh, and can we agree that the Maniac Cop 3 artwork is a little bit cooler than two? Look at three. He's behind the badge and everything. Unrated versions. Great movies. Maniac Cop 3 is still really good. Just takes a story in a little bit of a silly way. Not too silly, but they add something that kind of is just like, okay, I guess they have to do something to bring them back. Incredible movies. I owe a lot to Maniac Cop 2 because this is the movie that has that Children of the Night song in it that I covered, which has become like a staple on my channel, and people like the song. They like the cover I did, which is available on Spotify. Artist named CHH, all caps. So, yeah, these are among the best of Blue Underground, hands down. Um, next up, we've got a cop kind of revenge movie. We're talking about Vigil Ante, Robert Forster and Fred Williamson. Fred Williamson's one of my favorite actors of all time. I love Fred Williamson. That's Black Caesar, you know. Great, great, great movie. This is such a good movie. And Fred Williamson was great in Dusk Till Dawn, too. Again, directed by William Lustig, so it's nice that he got his hands on his own movies. This was a gorgeous 4K. If you're into, if you're into like the, um, the Death Wish, Vigilante's right up your alley. This is a great movie, great movie. This is one of the last 4Ks they put out. I'm hoping we get some new stuff from Blue Underground soon. I really do because they're actually a solid label. I, I like the packaging on all their releases. They're they're nice. They're uniform. Uh, he likes doing the little lenticular covers on these. Great movie. Uh, but what is the best movie on the um, Blue Underground label? I'm so glad you asked. Hands down, one of the best movies uh, from this director and absolutely one of the best movies. I'm I'm fuzzy again. And one of the best movies from uh, this label, hands down, is Larry Cohen's God Told Me To. This movie will kick your ass every day of the week, twice on Sunday. Such a great action, kind of horror -y, mystery, thriller movie incredible i mean absolutely incredible film you guys know me i'm a larry cohen guy uh always have been always will be uh, he's one of the greatest directors to ever do it if you look at some of the directors today they'll all tell you that larry cohen is a god 
he was one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. He wrote his movies, he produced his movies, he directed his movies, uh, and God Told Me To was one that I was like, ah, oh, man, but I love the stuff and everything, and I love Cue the Winged Serpent. I don't know if I'm going to like this one as much. Sure enough, I watched this and I said, it's better. It's just better. It's it's the best movie he's ever done. God Told Me To is incredible. Uh, so this is hands down to me the absolute best movie Larry ever put out and the best movie Blue Underground ever put out. Love it to death, guys. So that is the best of Blue Underground. Pretty much everything I own because I think I have majority of the stuff that they've put out. An incredible label, guys. I definitely recommend getting into them. Uh, they're they're one of those companies that like they've done so good. They, they, they really were hot and running for a few years, and I'm hoping they kind of kick things back up into gear soon. Uh, all, all their stuff is available on Amazon. You could probably get some good deals on them right now, too. So check them out, guys. Let me know your thoughts on some of those titles. Let me know your thoughts on Blue Underground. I'm hoping we hear some new stuff from them soon. Great label. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next Huge time. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind-the-scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.